Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today I'm going to go over how to program your DSC Power Series control panel with DLS5 software and your Napco Starlink Connect radio. Now before we get started, make sure we check the installation instructions that came with the radio for the wiring diagram and some control panel programming that needs to be done before we can perform this operation. Also ensure that your control panel has been enabled for a DLS download by pressing star 6, your master code, and number 5. Okay, so let's get started by opening up our Napco Starlink Connect software. If this is your first time using it, click on Starlink Authentication, enter in your Starlink dealer ID and password, then we go to the DLS5 tab, click OK, and you'll notice that the icon down in the toolbar will turn a green D, which means we're ready for a DSC upload or download. Start by clicking on New Account, and we'll give it a name. Under panel type, you can either pick auto detect panel, unless you know the exact panel type and firmware version. Under connection type, this is very important, make sure that we pick IPT link. Under the IP address, we can leave it as default. Then we click on create. We'll go ahead and open up the account, and I'll show you a quick connection using the event buffer. Tag the event buffer, click on communication tag. The communication screen will come up, click OK, and then we'll watch the icon down in the toolbar turn a yellow D, which means it's grabbing the information from the DLS5 software. The efficiency bar will stay green the entire time, and then once we make a connection you'll see the center of the icon turn a black D. The progress bar will move up until we're done, click OK. And that's the basic operation for programming your DSC Power Series control panel using DLS5 software and your Napco Starlink Connect radio. As always, for more information, visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.